Get ready to embark on the adventure of a lifetime. This South Asian country is renowned all over the world for its beauty and vibrancy. From its lively cities and the soaring Himalayas to colorful festivals and sacred rivers, there are so many ways to experience this destination. For now, relax, because we're about to take you on a journey to India's Golden Triangle. Welcome to India. Few places in this world can ensnare our senses and enrapture us the way that India can. This fascinating South Asian country is as diverse as it is vast. Its history dates back over 5,000 years. Visitors will find endless landmarks that tell the story of India's complicated past and cultural heritage. But whether you're learning about ancient times, sampling the fragrant cuisine, immersing yourself in the whirlwind cities, or finding spiritual respite, prepared to be spellbound. It's best to go in without any expectations and let India's zest for life intoxicate you. One way to get a taste of the country's frenzy and diversity is by exploring the Golden Triangle. It's a well-traveled route that connects India's capital territory of Delhi, majestic Agra and the magnificent city of Jaipur. Visitors should allow at least eight days to properly experience the Golden Triangle. Trips often begin among the bustling streets of Delhi. From there, visitors head to explore the magnificent Taj Mahal in Agra, before heading over to the pink city of Jaipur, before going on to Varanasi. Arrive in Delhi and take the day to wander around a city filled with Mughal-era buildings. Visitors often pass through India's capital on their way to the iconic Taj Mahal in Agra. But Delhi has much to offer travelers that want in on an ancient city that pulses with contrasting fervor. On the one hand, you have centuries-old Indo-Islamic architecture and on the other, remnants of colonial occupation. All of this fuses with high tea spreads, futuristic skyscrapers and shopping malls. Amid the heady mix of street fumes, comprised of roaring rickshaws and mouth-watering food, you'll find friendly locals making their way to the temple, sipping chai or watching the world go by from a rooftop. Time has left its mark on Delhi, but it has held its own as India's capital for more than 100 years. It is the epitome Indian city, a nod to the past and the country's flourishing present. Journey through India's ages by visiting the Jama Masjid, a domed haven amid old Delhi's chaos. The red sandstone treasure was built by Mughal Emperor Shah Jahan. Next, make your way through the maze of hawkers and motorcycles of the iconic Chandni Chalk. Here you can pick up some delicious food. Coke and a plate of spicy chaat is a must. There are so many different varieties of this quintessential street-side snack, but most renditions include potatoes or chickpeas tossed with tart chutneys, fresh yogurt and loaded with crunchy toppings. You cannot leave the city without exploring the Red Fort, the primary residence of the Mughal dynasty, or without visiting the eternal flame that burns alongside Mahatma Gandhi's memorial. Stay overnight in Delhi to watch the sun setting over this melting pot of a city and to rest up before continuing onwards to Agra. Agra's most beloved monument, the Taj Mahal, is one of the most famous buildings not only in India but the world. 
Built by Shah Jahan as a memorial to his wife, this pristine white marble mausoleum is a wonder to behold. It took no less than 22 years to build and is an everlasting symbol of Shah Jahan's undying love for Mumtaz. Every year, crowds flock to the Taj Mahal in a bid to admire and marvel at a site that has inspired poets and writers for hundreds of years. Rabindranath Tagore described it as a teardrop on the cheek of eternity. Magically, the Taj Mahal changes colors through the day. In the morning, pink hues grace its facades and at night, the gleaming moonlight turns it gold. The Mughal Empire left behind other majestic sites. Like the Taj, Agra Fort and Fatehpur Sikri are not to be missed. After Agra, travel onwards to Jaipur, the gateway of the Rajasthan state. Rajasthan is India's crown jewel. From splendid palaces and mighty fortresses to vivacious festivals, this region harbors excellent examples of India's opulence, traditions and color. Jaipur is the capital of Rajasthan. It was founded by the royal family that once ruled the region. It's endearingly nicknamed the Pink City after the trademark color of various buildings that were constructed with pink sandstone. The streets are packed with buses, some of them adorned with art and flowers. Rickshaw wallers zoom past. Street vendors ladle local delights onto paper plates. And in all this commotion, the Indian adventure you've been dreaming of. At the center of Jaipur lies City Palace. While parts of it are still a royal residence, you can visit the gardens, courtyards and museums. Jaipur's star attraction, Amber Fort, sits on a hill beside the calm waters of Mauta Lake. This magnificent palace complex dating back to the 16th century was built from pale yellow and pink sandstone and white marble and is divided into four main sections each with its own courtyard. Of course, if you want to set your sights even higher, the Jantar Mantar Royal Astronomical Observatory is the way to go. It features Samrat Yuntra, the world's largest sundial. Visitors should also see the intricate Hawa Mahal, a five-story palace that overlooks the bazaar. This seamlessly leads to an afternoon dedicated to the market lanes of Jaipur. Teeming with textiles, gems and carpets, a visit to the bazaars is not to be missed. They are famous for selling quality handicrafts and jewellery. The perfect place to pick up your own little royal memento of Jaipur. No one should contemplate visiting India and leaving without seeing Varanasi quite possibly one of the most sacred places on earth. Pilgrims make their way here for the holy waters of the river Ganges, to wash away their sins or cremate loved ones, or to pay homage to Buddha in Sarnath. Understandably, Varanasi is often buzzing with people, but it still evokes a soulful feeling. To learn more about the rituals that take place here, sail along the river Ganges. The sights, sounds and smells are intense, but you'll find out more about the traditions woven into the flowing waters. Sarnath is another important site for pilgrimage in Varanasi. It is said that after achieving enlightenment from Bodhgaya, Buddha made his way here to spread his message. Sarnath is where he famously gave his first sermon and it is studded with various Buddhist pilgrimage sites. The evenings in Varanasi are devoted to an ancient custom known as Ganja Aati, which has been practiced for thousands of years along the banks of the Ganges. The uplifting ceremony is performed daily in honor of the river goddess Ganga. As the sun descends, musical instruments burst into melody and thousands of theas are lit. 
It is one of many evocative experiences in India and quite possibly the perfect way to end your time in this incredible country. A journey you will cherish for many years to come. For the adventure of a lifetime and an unforgettable trip to India, visit Tour Radar now to see tours that will take you to this destination. If you're seeking further inspiration, stick around to watch more. Just don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay worldly.